That's me yawning. <sighs> I'm out here. Work. Been out here for at least an hour. I came, I mean, walk for a good 45 minutes. You feel me? Yeah, hold on. Yeah, walk for a good 45 minutes. Came back. My favorite position, post up. No advertisement, just walls and windows. You feel me? Until I walk a few blocks to work. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Palm trees. I just don't want to show no signs or nothing like that. It doesn't mean that somebody's like somebody's gonna see that. Da, da, da. It's just I don't want to. Sometimes I like to make my background plain. You feel me? Sometimes the background can be a distraction. You feel me? Sometimes I like to make it plain. <sighs> anyway, um. Today, yeah, it was today. Today is October 15, 2021, on a Friday, California time, 8 20 a.m. You already know. Documentary, you know how that shit go. No, I mean. <clears throat> yeah, I'll be waking up too, too early. That's my bus. <laughs> I be waking up early just to catch, just to be here on time. You know what I mean? If I can help it, why not? Early be here on time, do my dizzle. Cause I can't take a chance on the other schedule, unless I have no choice. That's the only schedule, but I don't, yeah, I like to be comfortable. I want to be relaxed when I'm coming. On Sundays, I don't mind. Because my mom, like, ah, that's exercise. But any other day, I like to be relaxed, you feel me? I want to be chill. At least they want me, my, my believers, my enemies want me, they want me to be chill too. They don't like when I start running and working out. They hate that shit. They be so jealous of me. I was like, damn, what is it to you if a nigga is jogging or running? What is it to you? They start making excuses like, well, if you was on time, you wouldn't have to do that. I'm like, it's still like, mind your business. They tell me to mind my business, but they can't stay out of my business. You feel me? If you wake up early, them like, come, then you don't know what's going on. You just want to make an excuse. When you hate somebody, you find any and every reason to justify. There you go, back. If when you hate somebody, you find any and every reason to justify why you hate that person. You will find it. You will definitely find it. Even if it's not legit, there will be something there for you to hold on to. And that's to everybody. You feel me? Once once you don't like somebody, trust me, man. There's always going to be an excuse and a reason why you don't like that person. Always. That shit probably ain't even legit. You still be happy. You be like, man, I don't like this one. Why? I don't know. Then you find some other shit. Feel me? They always going you they always going to find an excuse man that's why yesterday I was talking about occupation what is your occupation I mean I even talking about you going to a job I'm talking about what are you the reason the occupation is described as a job but the word came from occupying you feel me hold on the word came from occupying. What is occupying your time? What are you occupying? You feel me? What are you consumed with? To occupy is to basically surround yourself with. Is to cover upon. You feel me? Like, 
like the word occupy like you know it's like to occupy like I, I say it several times and it gives me different definition of what the word that's why i repeat it so well you feel me occupy it's like it's to take hold of it's to take ownership of it's to basically settle in you feel me it's to dwell in <laughs> that's all the, there's so many definitions i can give to the word occupy so what is occupying your time what are you consuming that's the best that's the best word i can use what are you consuming your time with what are you occupying you feel me what Wait on it. Shit nice. Back to the conversation. What are you occupying? You feel me? What is consuming you? You feel me? Usually, occupation is, like I said, associated with a job. You feel me? So when we go to work, we be like, they ask you, what's your occupation? You be like, huh? What is what, what job? What is your job title? Who do you work for? You feel me? Because most of the time, we are at work more than we are at home. Unless you're doing some part-time shit. But that's why they call occupation. That's why they associate occupation with a job. Because most of the time, the average American, if they're working... Even if it's a small business, even if it's volunteer, you feel me? Even if it's, um, even if you're going to somebody else's work or it's a profession or a career, it's considered as an occupation because it consumes most of your time, you feel me? If you're a working person like a nurse or a manager somewhere and everything else like that, most of the time you at work more than you at home, you feel me? So that's why they call it an occupation. So what are you occupying your time with? You feel me? There's no way a person who is... Your occupation should be yourself. You feel me? First and foremost, you feel me? The job and everything else, those are secondary. You feel me? Those, all those things are secondary. You got to be your own occupation. I'm not talking about entrepreneur or nothing like that. I'm, I'm talking about self-esteem and self-awareness and everything else like that you have to be consumed with yourself you feel me and if it's the work that you want to go into and be consumed with yourself then that's your occupation you feel me if it's your kids that you want to attend to that's your occupation you feel me but you got to be so occupied with yourself you got to be so into what you doing and your concern and everything else like that, you don't have time to gossip. Unless you win the Williams and you got your show and it's all about gossip. You feel me? Apart from that, if it's not your job and you're not getting paid for it, there's no need for you to be consuming somebody else's business. You're not in the entertainment business. You're not in media. They're not... You feel me? It's like most of these niggas are just regular niggas. And I, I'm just trying to get a clear picture of why people are so occupied and consumed about what I do. And they're not consumed about what they do. Like, there's no way in hell. Let's see. There is no way in hell that you can be a hater if you consume with yourself. If you occupy with yourself or you got an occupation, there's no way. You don't even have time to hate. I know that for a fact when I used to watch these people travel to other countries and they, was, they, they go to other countries to help kids out or people in need and they document these things and take photos and they, they know the surroundings so well and they, they even speak the language of the people and everything else and I'm like damn this person is dedicated this person is consumed with their work this person wants to be a service to others there is no way this nigga or this poor woman or these people can't be hated. Like, there's no way they hate us. Like, they're so consumed with what they're trying to do and the service that they're trying to provide that they educate themselves and even learning the language and learning the landscape of the uh, of the place where they at. You understand? There's no way possible that you can even be. There's no way. 
Like it's like it's 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 impossible for you to even do such a thing. You feel me? But some of these people, it's like they have so much time for me. I'm like, yo, what do you do with yourself? Like, <laughs> there's no way you can have that much time for one individual. You feel me? Like, let it pass. Like, these niggas, we need to start checking their pockets, see what they're doing, who is providing them with money, and we gotta take that shit away from them. Because it's like, somebody else is paying for them. It has to be somebody else who is providing for them. Because it's like, who's providing for you when you spend that much time paying attention to somebody else? This is why it's a bad idea when people suggesting that we should be gaining a government should be just be giving us money and we don't have to do nothing no that's not that's not a good thing at all you just create more dependence and haters people who just consume themselves with something else because at the end of the day if you're not if you're not focusing on yourself you're gonna focus on something else at the end of the day you got to occupy yourself with something you have to even when you sit down and you decide that you're not gonna do nothing at all guess what Something is going to do you, no homo. <laughs> you gonna be occupied with something. You feel me? We Christ. Whenever God call a prophet or anybody else, He called them to do work. He called them to occupy a third a territory. He called them to do some form of service. Even Jesus was called to do work. He came on the earth to do work. So that's God said, go forth and work the land and multiply. You feel me? You. Like that's the that is in our nature, it's in our being to do some form of we gotta do some kind of providing and services. You feel me? Like I said, you're supposed to be so occupied with yourself that you become beneficial to others. You feel me? Like jobs, jobs have benefits, and when you work that job, you have those benefits with those jobs. Well, that's you too. Not YouTube as a uh as, a, as an app I'm talking about you as yourself You also Supposed to be so Occupied with yourself That somebody Should be inspired By the things that you do Just like I was inspired By those people When I used to watch them Go to other countries And help people out And everything else like that I'm like Hmm These people Like that's what I want to do I want to be so, If I can't travel To another country And help somebody out It doesn't necessarily mean I said I wanted to be A service to others Like in that form of shape I ain't trying to go to another person's country and try to... And the shit that they do is dangerous because you got to deal with people in the land that don't like you. You got to deal with government policy and everything else like that. You going to other people's territory. You don't know whether they're going to be welcoming or they're going to try to chop you up. I don't want to do that part. They brave. They're too brave for that. I'm talking about... I, t I took inspiration from the fact that they were so busy and consuming with themselves that they didn't have the time to pay attention to the next person or to, to think of ways to get this person. Or th like, you, like people who just sit around and think of st stuff like that, they start thinking about the next worst thing to do. They do one thing today, they be like, oh, that's not enough. We got to do something else. Then they start collecting shit and cutting up shit and wearing gloves. Like that shit. <laughs> you see? When you don't consume yourself with the right things in your life, you start to do the most disgusting, sinister, degrading and denigrating behavior you can ever think of. And you and you make it a numb. You make it a normal. You feel me? You think you think that shit is normal because it's like nobody told you that LA, hey, what you're doing is like maybe somebody told you, but people are overwhelmingly supporting you and enabling you. So you don't think that that shit is disgusting. You feel me? It's like, just cause nobody step up to you and told you something, certain things you're supposed to know and be like, all right, come on now, I'm wildin'. You feel me? Sometimes you gotta, you gotta check yourself and be like, come on now, I'm wild. Like, you feel me? But anyway, let's get back to the occupation. You're supposed to be so consumed with yourself that you become a benefit to others. You feel me? People people see you and be like, I, like I was, the people were so occupied with what they was doing as I, as I was watching them on TV that they become, they became a benefit to me. You feel me? Or if you see somebody on TV, yeah, Prime, Amazon, 
They keep bragging about these things. It's funny how people will take, you will lie upon you. This be very deceitful. We, we all knew that shit was a lie. Come on, man. Like, like, I even had to wink at that. We all, we all knew that shit was a lie. You feel me? We're not even gonna go into that discussion because I already had a topic on that. They lied on you. They was very deceitful and took something away from you. And now all they do is just brag about it. But really, it's not really a brag like they're proud of it. It's more like, it's more like a child who didn't get their way. And since they didn't get their way, they hold up a toy. Like they hold up a toy, right? Just a toy around and be like, ha ha, they crying, but they holding up, mm, this one is mine. And start crying like that's what they're doing. It's just they they very childish with their behavior. So it's like they using something that they know they lied about, and it's like it, ha it it's not worth nothing no more. It's meaningless now to me. You feel me? Back then it probably was something, but now it's meaningless to me. And they get to move on like five different times already. You feel me? But it's like that child with that toy, and they toying it. They just flossing it around, but it doesn't really mean nothing. It has no value. Feel me? It just don't have no value. So they just waving the toy around. It's like, ha 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 ha. I got this one. Ha ha. But it's like it's not having the same effect. So you just looking at them. So they put that down and pick up another toy. They be like, ha ha ha. Like, be like, you can't touch it. And it's like, we. I never tried to touch it anyway. That's how you gotta treat them. You gotta treat them like a like a child. And be like, you look at them like a like. Okay. You feel me? Shout out to the bird right here. Hold on. If I can, I'm sure it don't fly. No way. Conclude? Fuck. That shit did fly away. You feel me? So that's how you gotta respond to saying people sometimes. You gotta see the child in them. Every time I describe them, think about a child. That's what it is. <laughs> Think about a child. A child is kind of, when a child come out the womb, right? We're gonna start from basics so y'all can get the y'all can get the understanding of how these people behave. We're gonna start with just basic shit. When a child comes out his mother's womb, right? He's first of all looking for a companion. So a child wants to recognize the mother's voice when she was when he he or she was in the womb of the mother or the or her, or his parents. So when the when a the, when the baby start feeding and start connecting with the mother, because out the womb they gotta connect with the mother, because sometimes some parents give their child away. So it's all about the person that the child can depend upon. You feel me? So the child is very very dependable because they need you to survive in this world when in the in the beginning stages of their life itself. So that's why you see when they start when you start feeding them and everything else, there's a lot of eye connection. They, they staring right dead at they sucking on the titties or they sucking on the bottle, but they looking right at you. Like, they they're so occupied. Cause remember, they're coming into this world not knowing nothing at all. You feel me? We all came into this world not knowing nothing at all. And everything that we learned was learned was already here. And we learned it and we add our little twist to it and everything else like that. Our name, everything, everything that we learned, the way we dress, everything, the way we talk and everything else was already here already we just took a little bit and add a little bit creating the creativity from our perspective to it you feel me so that's what a child is doing a child is just observing and learning and it's just i is just glued to everything that the parent is doing you feel me they just occupied and obsessed with it because they try to learn everything they mean you they start they start saying words like you and try to talk like you and try to walk like you like they they basically mimicking you and that's how these people are. These people are so occupied with you, just like a child is occupied with their parents, that they start to mimic you. You feel me? They are they, like they need to benefit from you because they depend on you. They are depend. They are dependent upon you. Let it pass. They are dependent upon you to have some kind of relevancy. Remind you, these people are grown already, you feel me? But they missing a few screw loose, you feel me? They didn't get saying affection or they got too much affection or something happened along the way. So now they looking at you as somebody that they can take energy from, they can suck from. Like you like, 
they literally attached to your <laughs> attached to you and they're just sucking the energy out of you so they can feel relevant you feel me because they're not relevant so every time when i describe them think of a child and through through the stages of him of the child growing up to the stage of a child not knowing how to deal with their emotions you feel me of course they've grown up to a certain stage in their life where they they have had their ability to masquerade their behavior and their emotions already so you're not going to see that out, outburst like a child does because they've masked they, they become the masters of deception after a while you know these people So after a while, these people become the masters of deception. So they know how to masquerade there. It's like a wolf in sheep clothing type of shit like that. So they they, pre they present themselves a certain way. You feel me? It's like a presentation a certain way. But on the inside, they're just a child itself. And that's, and that's what I basically described. Back to the occupation of people. You feel me? So just like that child, which I was in that situation by trying to benefit other people, I was inspired. But the response was different because we all benefit from other people. But the response itself is different. It's like, do you acknowledge what you've seen? Do you acknowledge the problem that you have? And can you take from it and benefit you as a person and not be jealous of what you're taking from? It's like a child who depends on their parents to survive, but yet hate the parent that they... It's like you suck, you, you're taking the milk from your mother, you love the milk, but you hate it, you hate where it's coming from. And that's how they, that's how they are. It's very hard to understand such things. In order to, for you to even go into the understanding of uh, them truly, you have to lose yourself into them. And that's not going to happen. We, not, we love ourselves too much to lose ourselves into somebody like that. You feel me? <laughs> the hell no. And that's the issue starting narcissists. But anyway, it's not about narcissists, it's about occupation. You're supposed to be so occupied with yourself that regardless of any obstacles, now you're gonna have people who are gonna do you wrong. They're gonna cheat you. They're gonna lie on you. They're gonna do all kinds of things against you. Regardless of any obstacle, you still gotta find the 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 the, the, the energy and the effort to keep moving forward. You feel me? You gotta be so consumed with yourself you have to be and people be like oh you selfish you shouldn't be consumed with yourself of course you gotta be you have to in order for you to even take care of anybody else you have to be strong first do you think a horse is capable of carrying people if it's not strong enough of course not the horse has to be strong enough for it to be able to carry these things on his back that's the same thing with us we have to be strong enough to be beneficial to others. A horse has to be strong enough to be beneficial to others. If a, if a horse is not well or is ill, nobody's going to ride on his, on his back. It is just going to lay bomb. If a car is not able to operate, it is not going to be able to run the engine and hold four to five people or a bus hold multiple people. Of course not. So the idea of people saying you selfish for not being consumed with yourself, not being the, not being able to be strong enough. If I'm not strong enough and I'm weak, but yeah, I'm trying to help somebody else who's weak. We both gonna be weak. It's like it's, it's not gonna happen. We need you need you need opposite. That's why opposite attract. When you confident, you're going to attract people who are less confident. When you strong, you are going to attract people who are weak. We feed off each other. You feel me? That's how it goes. You we. You inspire people who want to learn from you. You feel me? That's how it goes. They gotta be a one and a two. Or if we feed off each other, you feel me? Like it, it never say like I understand how they think. Like people always say he's selfish, he's greedy. I'm like, man, listen, man, if your if, if your mother is tired today and she's she she happens to be kinda like going, she happens to be sick. She wouldn't be able to take care of that baby. That baby needs his mother to be strong. The mother needs to be strong enough to carry on to take care of the newborn baby or her, her child or her, her adult kids or whatever. But you need to be strong first. You need to make sure that you are strong first before you can take care of others. Before you can even provide a service, you have to be in a world place. You can't be mentally ill and you providing a service to other people. You have to be tamed and trained for that. Like, you feel me? 
you have to take the you have to take the initiative to even go in that direction that's why it's very important that you have to be you have to be the occupation of yourself ain't nobody going to occupy you you have to be the one who takes position in that place you have to be so how is it that you have time to hate somebody else when we it's like people who does that this is the this is the point i'm trying to make a person who's not occupied with himself let it go by a person i think you see the plane in the overhead a person let it go they gotta make noise because you know the message is too strong a person who's not occupied with themselves does not know themselves. They don't know who they are. So they consistently, just like that child, that's why I brought the child up, they consistently depending, looking up on somebody else to figure out who they are. You feel me? It could be something about you. It could be that you, 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 your intelligence. It could be that you're confident. It could be that you know how to dress. It could be that you're a pretty person and nat naturally. That's the reason. There's no way a person who knows himself, like those people who volunteer in other countries and everything, they know themselves. So they know what they can provide. You feel me? So they're going out there doing service. Everybody's supposed to be in service to somebody else. So we supposed as anybody that comes into your life is supposed to be a service to you, and you're supposed to be a service upon them. You feel me? It, that's how it works. A husband is a service to his wife, and a wife is a service to the husband. That's how it work. It always been working like that. People just call it differently, whatever. Anyway, a person who is occupied looking at somebody else continuously, night and day, in and out, every day. It's a person who does not know themselves. If you don't know yourself, you cannot love yourself. You cannot love something that you do not know. I like that. You cannot love something that you do not know. So if you don't know yourself, of course, you're going to be occupied in wanting to love somebody else. A, a person who has not never been loved will always look for love outside of themselves. They think that being in the family and attaching themselves to somebody else is all it is. So they will constantly be looking for somebody else to attach themselves to. Just like a baby who comes into this world, the baby doesn't know what love is yet. You have to feed it love. You have to treat it love. You have to cuddle it. You have to show it what love is. Then eventually, that child develop their own concept of what love is. And through their perspective, they get to express that love. You feel me? But it has to come from their own perspective because nobody has the same perspective as you. Nobody has the same DNA as you. Nobody can see like you see. So after you learn these things, then you filter it through how you are as a person who you naturally are. But these people do not have that identity. They don't have that at all. They don't. So that's why they're so consumed in watching somebody like myself and others. Because they don't know who they are internally. They haven't occupied themselves. So they're trying to occupy me to figure out who they are as a person. There's something in me that they want to take that piece of to attach it to themselves. Because they're taking pieces from all over the place. And it's like they still haven't figured it out. You feel? <laughs> they still haven't figured it out. So that's why I, made, that's why I went through uh, the avenue of telling the child's story of how a child come out the womb and has to learn things and everything else like that. Well, they are, some of them are like 21 to the from the range of 21 or probably younger than that from the range of you don't blame them when they that teenagers that's why i say 21 from the range of 21 all the way to let's say 60 80 and they still haven't figured themselves out yet so they're looking at others being jealous of others attacking others once you start putting your hands on other people it's over bro like <laughs> it's really is over it's like all right now nah, it's over like you feel me it's really like it's like seriously it's like once you start hating on somebody, once you start spying on somebody, once you start peeking on somebody, once you start stealing from somebody, then it's over. It's like you don't know who you are as a person. So you feel like you have to take from somebody to, to, to be relevant. You feel me? And instead of looking into yourself and be like, I'm already occupied. I've already occupied myself. I am my occupation within me. You feel me? I am the one working on myself. I'm working on myself. Hold on, let it pass. I'm working on myself so much that I'm trying to learn things to benefit others. 
just like those people in other countries. They learn in other languages just so they can have better communication in helping those people out. That's why I also use that story. So I'm using three different stories just to make an argument. So sometimes when people hear you, it sounds gibberish. But it's like when you hear it in total, you be like, oh, okay, I see where he's coming from. Because I don't use a baby story. I don't use a story that inspired me about people, a documentary. Then I'm using my own story itself. So I'm using three different stories and connecting the dots and making a point out of it. Just so you can understand the reason why people behave the way they behave. They do not know who they are. They haven't found the time to even study themselves. They don't love themselves enough. You feel me? To just even do things for themselves, to, to hurt a little. You feel me? Like, you feel me? They don't do none of those stuff. Like, I mean, they, there's too, it's much easier to look at somebody else and criticize that person so the light can be shined away from them. You feel me? Like that little child that I brought up about uh, some some child, like, they want to play with you. Be like, no, I'm, it's okay. Like, you say, I know that you, you're too sensitive. I can't play with you, da 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 and they be like, <laughs> like that. That's how they behave. But in a in a grown, in, in more like a in more like a, a a mastery manipulative sense. You feel me? They really want to be your friend, <laughs> cause you have something that they need. They like you make them look better. You make them look good. But the fact that you deny them, cause you like no, you like I, I don't like the way you think. I don't like the way you. You treat, I don't like that, I don't like that, you feel me? I don't like the way you, you smack me, then you want me to be your friend. That's not how it works. And you try to teach them a lesson like, no, that's not how it works. And it's like, no, I don't like the fact that you disrespect me and you want me to still, hold on, let me see. Ooh, I gotta go. Like you just telling them, look, I don't like the way you disrespect me and you still expect me to be your friend. Like I need, I need people who can treat me with a little bit of respect. I need people who take me who sees me the way I see me, you feel me? Since you don't see me like that, that means you don't see yourself like that. So I don't think I wanna be in friendship with you. Simple, you feel me? It's a long walk. Simple, you feel me? But guess what? They don't understand these things. They take it very, very personal. They be like, what do you mean? You feel me? They don't, they, they, they got a childish understanding of things and how things work. You feel me? So they take it very personal. Now they wanna attack you and everything else like that. But it's crazy, man. What do you do with such people like that? What do you do with somebody who has not occupied himself enough? The window used to be my favorite spot to walk. Because, <laughs> you know, you're not on the sidewalk, you're not running into people. What do you do with somebody who has not occupied himself to just be himself? You feel me? They haven't they, they haven't done that. Like they haven't put in the work. It's like you trying to put in the work and you feel like you behind schedule. But yet they're jealous of you. And you you like, what the fuck, nigga? I'm behind schedule. Can you like you you slowing me down? But they're not putting in the work. They feel like you have enough. They feel like you're doing too much. They feel like you extra. And you're like, no, nigga, I got I need time. <laughs> I, I, I'm way behind schedule. Fuck is you talking about? Move out the way. They want to stand in your way because they have because you you're supposed to be so consumed with yourself that you don't even have the time to be looking at somebody else you're supposed to be so focused a tunnel vision that you don't have the time for other people's nonsense but they feel like no 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 you've done enough because they put limitation on their life so they put limitation on your life too they feel like no that's you're not supposed to be doing that the way I see you is you're not supposed to be that person. Why he so extra? Why does he have to do this? Yeah, that's why he drive by with that noise. He's one of those people who haven't occupied himself. So they're trying to occupy me thinking that they can consume me. No, it's not going to happen. You got to find time for yourself. You feel me? You do got to find time for yourself. And these people who raise kids and everything else like that, and their kid will happen to find themselves and they'll be jealous of their kids. And then they trick their kids into being just like them. You feel me? It be crazy like that, my nigga, I'm telling you. You feel me? You have to occupy yourself, man. You can't be damn near 21 all the way to 60, 80, and you still haven't occupied yourself yet. You have to understand, man. We all go to school for same perfection. But the school that you go to 
that will never stop going for you. The school, the skill that is required. Matter of fact, let me put it this way. We all go to school, right? Some form of shaping our life to gain an education about a profession that we want to take or learn some trades or simple ideas. But the school that you never stop going to is learning about yourself. Because you're going to learn about yourself to the day that you die. You feel me? Every day is something new. Every day. Once you stop learning is the day that you die. You feel me? When Christ was on the cross, he didn't die until he stopped talking. If you read the scripture, you can tell he kept on talking, talking, he stayed alive. But once he closed his mouth and he stopped talking, that's when he, he passed away. You feel me? That's the same thing with life itself. You feel me? That's the same thing with life itself. You have to consume yourself with learning about yourself to the point where that it's like there's no, like you have to be willing and open to learn about new things. You have to be. You have to be constantly edgy to want to learn. You have to be. You feel me? The day that you think you know it all is the day that you die. Because it's like, it's like you, you're not willing to learn nothing new, so you know it all. So your purpose here is met already. So now you got to move on to the next stage. You feel me? It's like learning. It's like you're in the first grade and you've learned everything that you can learn. Now you got to move on to the next stage then. You feel me? This life, you have to, there's so much to learn about. So you have to be willing to learn everything. And learning about yourself, learning things and put it into your filter, your perspective and learn. And it helps you grow as a person. You feel me? You have to be consumed with yourself. Stop consuming yourself with other people because you don't love yourself. You feel me? A lot of niggas don't love themselves. I'm coming to find out, but I got to go. You feel me? I don't want my coworkers thinking I'm crazy because I'm speaking about this. But it is what they probably do already. <laughs>